As a cop, I lost my callers to legal loopholes, but I believed in the system. As a DA, I lost my cases to crooked lawyers, but I believed in the system. As a judge, my hands were bound by the letter of the law, but I believed in the system. Until it took my life away. And then I stopped believing in the system and started believing in justice. been found guilty of burglary and now attempted escape. You know the penalty. This will do just fine. What's the pink stuff? Thousand Island. Don't you like it? It's fun. I'm just not used to having it with tuna. <laughs> Everyone in this country likes to mix flavors in strange ways. Hmm. Well, next time you can make one of your Spanish sandwiches. I've owed you this for a long time. Uh, it's just a sandwich. <laughs> you know what I mean, the real America. From my favorite vantage point. You know, we spent so much time slinking around big city alleyways. I almost forgot there's a whole country out here. I just didn't want you to miss it. I'm not totally unfamiliar with the countryside. I grew up in one, remember? This is a little different. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of great history in Europe. Out here, we just, uh, we've just begun. We, we're still making history. Right. And to many Europeans, the entire United States will always be the Wild West. <laughs> well, I think they've seen too many movies. This is small-town America. Nobody gets gunned down in the streets out here. Now, this is just families and farms and factories. And I got two weeks to show it to you. Think we can get it all in? Not a chance. But I think right now, we should be thinking about where we're going to spend our first night. You mean we are not going to sleep here, under the stars? No. Do you have a guidebook? No, it's against the rules. Didn't you see Easy Rider? No. 
I must have missed it. Yeah, right. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, just hang on. Let's see if we can find a hotel at the next town we run into, okay? How about your mercy? We would like two rooms, please. Oh, geez, I'm sorry, but we've come at a bad time. It's off season. I'm renovating the place. You have no vacancies? I have one. It's clean. It's got its own bathroom. Would you like it? One room? We'll take it. Good. You sound like you're from France. Spain. Well, you folks look like good friends. I'm sure you'll be very comfortable here, Mr. Dumas. Yeah, we'll be fine. Thank you very much. It's cute. It's small. Uh, it'll be fine for one night. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen, I told you I was going to take you to see America. It's American room. American walls, American wallpaper, American painting, American bed. Right. American bed. Uh, you want to go for a walk? That sounds great. You know, why didn't you use a real name? Well, I think it's uh, safer to not have any record of us being together. We don't want anything, connection to jeopardize our working relationship in the future. Of course. Well, listen. Uh, don't take it personal. I don't. I just hope I don't get so used to being other people that I forget who I am. Well, don't worry, Maria. I'll remind you. I thought you said no one got shot in the streets out here. I was wrong. Excuse me, uh, officer. Uh, you know what happened? Just move along, sir. Nothing to see here. Well, listen, maybe I can help. I used to be a cop. We don't need any help. Thank you. We'll see you Sorry about your loss, Mrs. Kaplan. You Catherine. let this happen. You knew it. It's your fault. You folks must be new in town, huh? Oh, we're just passing through. Uh, well, I'm sorry you had to see this. Nasty business. We think it's drug-related. A problem which isn't exclusive to a big city, I'm afraid. I'm Sheriff Walter Penn. I'm Michael Dumas. This is Maria Delana. How do you do? I'm fine. It's a lovely accent. What is it? Italian? Spanish? Ah. Well, don't let this incident sour you on our little village. It is an anomaly, I assure you. You have any leads so far? Some, yeah. We're working on it. But don't you worry. I always get my man. Have a nice day. You've got that look again. You can't even see my face. I can hear it. I always get my man. 
All right, who's he trying to kid? His deputies were standing around, not even doing anything. Are you sure about that? Oh, come on, Maria. I know it and you know it. That man was not just beaten. He was, he was tortured. He was executed. There's something very strange going on in this town. I'm sorry to disturb you. No, please, come in. Please, please. Uh, have a seat. I heard you say you were a policeman. Well, yes, I used to be a policeman. <sighs> Then I guess you couldn't help me. Yeah, wait. Uh, if you tell us what it is, we will see what we can do. <sighs> That's a pretty accent. Is it Canadian? Spanish. Uh, does this have something to do with the body uh, we saw down on the street today? He was my husband. And Walter Penn had him killed. Why? Because he was making trouble. He was going to tell the state police what was going on in this town. Why don't you tell us just what is going on in this town? Penn runs it. He runs us. He found out what John was going to do and had him arrested on some phony burglary charge. And then when he tried to escape, he sent his men after him. He made sure the body was found in public. It was a warning. How does he get away with it? Because he can. Because he... I'm sorry, I have to go. Wait a minute, we want to help him. You can't. This was a bad idea. I could be caught. You should leave. Get out of this place while you can. Now you got that look on your face. Uh, hi, Tom. Listen, I was wondering, uh, do you have a mayor here? Yes, we do. Okay, well, uh, would you mind telling me where he lives? I'd like to speak with him. Well, he doesn't like to be disturbed. Well, that's all right. This is going to be a little friendly visit. I won't take much time. Uh, hi, how are you? I was wondering if it's possible to uh, speak with the mayor. Hello, Mr. Dumas. Miss Delena. Welcome. <laughs> I think there's been some kind of misunderstanding, Sheriff. Uh, we were told this was the mayor's home. You were told correctly. Is the mayor home? <laughs> yes, I am. And I'm at your service. Poor Mr. Kasdan. Well, I'm sure some outside influence was involved. You know, it's very unusual for someone to be both a uh, sheriff and a mayor. Don't you find that a conflict of interest? People don't seem to think so. Besides, I own this town. Oh, well, yeah, I, I can see how holding two very important positions would give you a lot of control. I don't think you understood me. When I say I own this town, I mean it literally. I purchased the whole place, lock, stock, and barrel. Three years ago, I was the CEO of one of the largest textile companies in America. I made more money than an old country boy could ever imagine. There was only one problem. I hated it. I was desperate to get back to the small town life. So I did it the only way I knew how. I bought it. I figured if some ditzy blonde actors could buy a town, well, why not me? Sounds like a corporate takeover. That's what I do. So tell me, Mr. Dumas, what is it that you do? I'm an attorney. I thought so. 
I've seen your type a hundred times. When you're on the job, you, you wear a fancy suit, your hair slicked back. Then on the weekends, you put on a pair of jeans, hop on the bike you bought next to the BMW dealer, head out for the country with your girlfriend, find your roots. Well, let me tell you something. You won't find it. You have to be born out here to understand what it's really like. Really appreciate it. A town like Crestridge doesn't take well to outside influence. Just look at Mr. Caston. I suggest you make it a quick look. You should continue on your journey. You won't find what you're looking for here. I assume you can find your way to the front door. Have a good day. Nice bike. Thank you. Of course, you have to know how to ride it. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I'm sure. This Michael Dumas could be a problem. A problem we should take care of. Just say the word. Pleasure before business. Just give us half an hour, and then she's all yours. Mr. Hill, we've seen what's going on in this town. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. You've got to inform the authorities. You can't let this go on. Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but I really don't think this is any of your business. I think it'd be best if you folks left. I don't believe this. We've talked to half a dozen people. Nobody wants to do anything. You're too scared to even help themselves. Then we will. Hey, Gibbs, knock it off, will you? Oh, come on, Moon! You need a real victim. Go ahead. Get in front of the ramp. Go ahead, man. You're good at lying down. No way. It's a chance to be a stunt, man. Did you get that for me, please? Ah, uh -uh. your phone is probably one of your bimbos anyhow. Well, if that's the case, you should definitely get it, because you could use a date. It's probably him. And if it is, I am not here. It is not him. He's on vacation. Ha, ha. Hello, Gibson's motocross. Guess up the van. You and Moon are taking a little trip. This can't be you. You're supposed to be on vacation. I need you guys. It's worth it. Now, trust me. Hold it, hold it, hold it. This is Rich Little, isn't it? It's an, it's an impersonation, right? Get on Highway 112. Go about 230 miles out of town. You'll see a little field. It's about three miles south of a place called Crestridge. We'll meet you there. Nick! That means I gotta drive all night long. With Moon! Take along some good music. I'm finding it kind of hard to believe that the people in this town aren't willing to do something about what's going on. Yeah. Fear can do a lot to a person. It was not so long ago when my own country suffered under the rule of a dictator. It took a long time to break away from that. Yeah, I know, but... Uh, I mean, America isn't really this way. Uh, I'm sure it isn't. At least I hope there are bigger beds. There are, definitely. Believe me, there are. Well... We've slept in, slept in worse places. We're both professionals. Yeah, professionals. That's us. Ah, oh, God. Well, we wouldn't let something like this jeopardize our working relationship, would we? 
No, he wouldn't do that. Despite how one of us may feel about the other. Yeah, I can sleep on the floor if you want. Not a big deal. No, I'm, I'm fine. I if just, you are. Yeah. Well, actually, I could use the floor. No, no, it's okay. It's all right. Believe me, it's okay. No big deal. Americans so hung up with their bodies. Why, who said they were? Are you sure about this? That's nice. It's, it's nice. This is a a real solid American floor. It's good. Great. Sorry, I had to drag you guys out here. Oh, it would have been all right if I didn't have to listen to Smokey Robinson and rap music all night. <laughs> that was a safety precaution, Moon. Stay awake. It kept us both awake. <laughs> and Nick, I don't get it. Why don't these people just call the FBI? Penn has them under constant threat. They are only human. So what do we do? Well, we find something to nail Penn with. Moon, you're going to set up surveillance outside of Penn's house. We've got to convince this town they can do something about this guy. We've got to find out more from the people. Now, they know Maria, they know me. They're not going to trust us. Gibbs, I think it's time you made some new friends. <laughs> How? Be friendly, you know? Tell them you want to settle down there. Do something that's endearing to these people. I don't know. Be yourself. You're good at it. Just do it. That'll work. This Michael Dumas guy. Somebody's tipped him off. I want to know who he's talked to. Nobody. I think you can do better than that. Or maybe... Uh, Maybe I should talk to your daughter. You leave her out of this. I will. In fact, I've been thinking about getting a new maid. If you cooperate. Yesterday, Hillary Kasten came to visit him. I have no idea what she said, but when she left, that's when he wanted to see the mayor. Good. You can go home now. Consider the word given. But let's have some fun with this one. Gibbs isn't as endearing as he thought. It's going to be hard to reach these people. 
That's a cute accent. What is it? Mexican? Spanish. Isn't that the same thing? Are you a beer friend? No, I'm fine. I was expecting you folks to be out of town by now. Well, you know what? I think there's just too much to see in one day. Yeah, right. I guess you just can't get enough of a bunch of stupid hicks. It makes you city folk feel real superior, doesn't it? You know, I have some advice for you, Mr. Dooms. You should get on that pretty little bike of yours, grab this pretty little girlfriend, and get out of here before your state becomes permanent. It's a free country. That's right. It is. And you should go back to yours. Thanks for the beer. Ignore him. He's all talk. Oh, it's all that's on my fingers. That's good. Um, um, I'd like to spice up the evening tonight by, uh, by singing a song by a favorite man of mine, a man named Smokey. That, that's Smokey Robinson. Uh, OK, I'm going to sing Mickey's Monkey. OK, Mickey's Monkey. Now, if you, you want to sing along, just jump right in, OK? OK, you guys ready? And one, two, oh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> You know, you guys just jump right in whenever you get a feel for it, all right? Okay, I'm, I'm ready, all right. This is endearing. Mm. Tell you what, let's go get some fresh air before I go a little tone deaf. How about that? Hey, you, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> just take a little stroll. Well, finish it up and go home. Curfew's in an hour. Yes, sir, you got it. Five minutes, so whatever Gibbs is gonna do, we better get cracking. Well, don't worry. He is. guys are missing out a beautiful day. Oh, did you really have to bang on the door that loud? 
my head. Mr. Gibbs, there's a hangover. Oh. Oh. And I'm sore from sleeping on the floor of the van all night. That is in between Moon's snoring. It's... I told you. Tell me to roll over. What am I? Your wife now? <laughs> What'd you find out, party animal? I don't even know where to start. The good people. The good people, Nick. The good people trapped in a screwed situation. See, Crestridge used to be a mining town a long time ago until all the war ran out. Then everybody but the diehards moved out in droves. One day, Penn showed up. Everything was really cool, you know? He brought a lot of money into the town. Then everything changed one day. One day, he appointed himself mayor and sheriff, and he taxed the hell out of him. Everybody complained got beaten up, sometimes worse. Everybody could afford to move out did. Everybody else is too poor to move. Don't they want to do something about it? Yeah, sure they do, but they can't. See, Penn outlawed all the guns in the town. That means they're defenseless and they're scared. Nicky, we gotta do something about this. Yeah, we will, Moon. I want you to go through the video, see if you can come up with something, Gibbs. I want you to talk to some of your new friends. You have to convince them to testify. Where are you going? Moon, let me tell you something. I got about three gallons of beer inside of me now. If I don't get some relief quick, there's gonna be a big mess around these parts. Look, I, I want to try and talk to Hillary Kazan again. All right, listen, meet me in the inn within about an hour. I don't want to get separated too long, all right? Come on, oh, Gibbs, you're killing all the flowers. Michael Dumas, you're under arrest for the murder of Hillary Gaston. Municipal Court of Crestridge is now in session. The Honorable Judge Walter Penn presiding. I should have known. Mr. Dumas, you have been charged with murder in the first degree. I don't recognize the authority of this court. Well, then you better start looking a little harder. How do you plead? Not guilty. Oh, good. It's much more fun that way. Did you find him? Yeah, he's at the bar. Penn's holding him on trial, so you can guess what the verdict's gonna be. Can we get him out? It's gonna be rough. I mean, all of his deputies are there, and they're all armed. The streets? They're all clear. Everybody's at the courthouse. Maria, we gotta do something. Maybe this will help. Mrs. Kasdan had been raped and stabbed. And you, Mr. Dumas, were found at the scene with the murder weapon. Gee, that was only an hour ago. Our coroner works very fast. That your job, too? No. It's his. What are you, the prosecutor? Of course. Do I get a lawyer? You are an attorney, Mr. Dumas, yes? And a damn fine one, I'm sure. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Mrs. Caston was witnessed visiting you day before yesterday. You became insanely enamored of the girl, obviously. And the prosecution will prove that you raped the young lady and then killed her to keep her quiet. Well, how do you plan on proving this stupid story? <laughs> With star. Well, if 
there are no other witnesses? <clears throat> Good. Then we're ready to render a verdict. Now, come on, listen, you people have to put a stop to this. This can't go on. The defendant will address the bench only. Tom, 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 listen to me. What do you do to your daughter, Tom? You can't let this go on, Tom. Stop! All right, shut up! Elena, what a pleasant surprise. You have something to add, perhaps? Just some evidence. Justice may be blind, Your Honor. But she can see in the dark. This is a tape taken last night in front of Walter Penn's house. You can see Penn watching as his deputies beat Hillary Casson. Order in the court. Here is the evidence you need to stop this man once and for all. But you have to decide to use it. Without you, he'll just cover it up. It will mean nothing. It's your choice. The court declares this evidence inadmissible. Or you go to hell, Penn. Oh, no! Oh, no. Nice speech. Yeah, too bad it didn't work. Yeah, we'll see. You two really know how to spoil a good time. We try. You joke all you want to, young lady. Your trial takes place tonight at my house. You should have stayed in France. Spain. Whatever. As for you, Mr. Dumas, the court is prepared to render a verdict. And that verdict is guilty. Why am I not surprised? And the sentence is death. Let me guess. No appeal. Good guess. The method of execution is to be executioner's choice. I'm in a given mood today, tough guy. I'll give you 10 seconds head start. Let me ask you something. What if I don't feel like playing this little game today? Well, then we'll just have to end it right here. Them for me. I'll have her all warmed up when you get back. Don't just stand there. Stop it. Find out who's controlling it.
That's a real nice bike. Except you have to know how to ride it. You know, you owe me a beer. I guess I'll take a rain check. Where is Ben? He beat it. Go back to Puerto Rico, bitch! It's Spain. You idiot. And I like it just fine here. Okay, slowly. Very slowly. Take your gun out with your left hand. Drop it on the floor. do what I should have done at the very start. So you're here to kill me? No. No, it'd make me just like you. I'm here to make a citizen's arrest. No, you're not. We're making a citizen's arrest. What's this? Walter Penn's greatest hits. You know, one of the good parts about these things, you can make copies of them. You'll regret this. Not anymore. There's gonna be a new sheriff in town. I don't know. I think you'd have made a great sheriff. No, I already think I have too many jobs. Hey, we all do. And the judge and I have a vacation to finish. Oh, yeah, you guys are still going to see America, huh? As much as we can. Where next? I don't know. Doesn't really matter much. Oh, boy. Another city kid who's seen Easy Rider too many times. <laughs> yeah, you got to take it to, like, to, to the Grand Canyon or Mount Rushmore. Yo, take the girl to Vegas. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll see. You know, America isn't just the place. It's the people. I think Crestridge has proved that. And I think we're going to try and meet some more. And find a bigger bed. A bigger bed? <laughs>